Hi everyone, this is Godwin at gpfaglobal.com.ng. Today I want to talk about how you can beat the Nigerian agent to save shipping costs. If you look at the system right now, the importation system from, from China, the shipping cost is on the high side. And the shipping agents in Nigeria are ripping people off. As we speak, in this period, they are charging $518 per, $518 naira per, per dollar, which is on the high side. When you pay this kind of shipping cost, and you calculate the landing cost, including your advertisement cost, it becomes too expensive for you to sell. And you can't afford to continue like that. When you are advertising, when you are selling like that, you will be a kind of hand-to-mouth importer. You can't make any headway. So we come up with this video tutorial to guide you on how you can operate by yourself. So I will start by saying that because Alibaba is purely English language, I concentrate more on Alibaba. Before I discovered this system of doing buying things and shipping myself from Alibaba, I wasted a lot of money to this Nigerian agent. The last time I shipped something from China, I shipped items. This is the shipping fee that I paid. $92. It's actually $94 because Alibaba charged me $2 for this transaction. So, at this time, they were collecting 518 Naira per dollar. But when I, when I used this system, I was able to get the rate of 380 Naira per dollar. How did I do this? So I ended up saved. I saved like 12,000 Naira that I was supposed to pay to those Nigerian agents. So what I do is this. I source, up my, source all my products on Alibaba by myself. The same way I sourced products is the same way I also sourced agents, shipping agents. So what I do, I collect the address of the shipping agent and send it to my suppliers. My suppliers send all my items to my agent, my shipping agent. And from there, my agent created this payment, payment uh, platform you can see here on Alibaba for me. So if you are have if you are using any Nigerian credit card like the GTB Mastercard or any other Mastercard, I don't know of other banks, but I use a GTB Mastercard, and monthly you are entitled to two um you are entitled to two hundred dollars online transaction from GTB Bank. So what I do is I make it in such a way that I become entitled to four hundred dollars. So what I do, I wait until towards the end of every month. Then I use my $200 to buy whatever I want to buy. Then at, like, at the end of that month, let's say I wait until it's like three to four days to the end of, of the month. Then I use my credit card to buy things. Then within that same week, as soon as the month ends and we step into the new month, I also use that credit card again for that new month to buy items. That is the way I operate. Then I paid all my suppliers with my credit card online. Then I also pay my um, my shipping agent online. How I save costs is this: instead of instead of this agent to charge me their own rate, which is five hundred and eighteen naira per dollars. I pay with my credit card and I get bank rate. Like the last time I paid, 
instead of me paying 518 I paid 380 dollars and I saved 12,000 something from that transaction or from only that transaction so imagine when if you are buying all your items and it's all is the agent that are buying it for you and shipping it for you you just be wasting money so that is that is just it so it's this video is all about how to beat the Nigerian shipping agent to save cost to save shipping cost that is all about this video at gpfaglobal.com.ng we actually come up with this tutorial to like a kind of eye opener to stir up an awakening for every little um it's basically for those who are, are small um, importers because those giant importers are using ocean shipping so <laughs> their shipping cost is, is, very, is very very minimal but for those that are buying in small quantities the young ones that are still coming up this is the best way that you can you can use so to, to maximize your profit so this is this is why I just we come up with this video we want you to subscribe to our YouTube YouTube channel if you have not done so and uh, you should also like our video if you have any question that you want to ask comment on the comment below I will respond to your to all your comments there is one key thing that is still remaining on this video which I will present in the next video it's about the security of this kind of payment now the shipping agenda we are using we don't know them before how are you going to secure your transaction that is what we are one of the things that we'll talk about in the next video secondly is this how you can watch your transaction carefully not to run out of your or what is it called was your trade assurance period because the moment you run out of it you can no longer make any claim you can so in the next video i'm going to talk about those two key those key two aspects of this transaction thank you very much like i said earlier kindly subscribe to our video to our youtube channel and like our video thank you very much god bless you